When it comes down to his current opponent, it appears that Imantus Stanionis can't catch a break. It seems now for the third time his opponent in Virgil Ortiz Jr. has to cancel, has to postpone the fight that they were supposed to face one another for welterweight supremacy this weekend, July 8th, in a card that headlined on the zone. But it is not to be, as Ortiz once again has to postpone the fight. Let's talk about what happened with Stanionis and Ortiz Jr. Boy, talk about tough luck. Man, I don't know what to make of it myself, but we have to discuss it. I had already prepared a video to talk about this super matchup in the welterweight division between Imantis Stanionis and Virgil Ortiz Jr. Originally slated for this Saturday, July 8th, today is the 6th, but according to reports from earlier this afternoon, and I'm taking this specific message from Boxing Scene, Imantis Stanionis, Virgil Ortiz, postponed once again. Floyd Schofield Jr. moves to the zone main event. This article is by Jake Donovan, and it was published earlier this afternoon. And it goes on to state that yet another delay has been met with the Imantis Stanionis Virgil Ortiz welterweight clash. BoxingScene.com has confirmed that the WBA regular welterweight title fight will no longer move forward. The battle of unbeaten contenders was due to headline a DAZN show this Saturday from AT&T Center in San Antonio, but is once again postponed after Ortiz fainted and was hospitalized for undisclosed reasons, as this goes to publication. The rest of the show will move forward. Golden Boy representatives confirmed to boxing scene unbeaten lightweight prospect Floyd Schofield Jr., who's 14-0 with 11 KOs, who hails from nearby Austin, will now headline the show versus Haskell Lydell Rhodes, who's 28-4 with one draw, 13 KOs. Nothing is more important than the safety of our fighters, and we, of course, support Virgil's decision 100%. Golden Boy told Boxing Scene in a provided statement. This unfortunate event does, however, open the door for one of Golden Boy's top prospects, Floyd Schofield, to accelerate his profile by headlining 
in his home state of Texas. We will, as always, put on a high action card from top to bottom on July 8th and look forward to showcasing all of our fighters both in San Antonio and on the zone. The latest setback marks at least the third postponement for Stanionis Ortiz and second confirmed fight date. The secondary WBA welterweight title fight was briefly paused after Lithuania's Stanionis, 14-0 with nine KOs, was forced to undergo an emergency appendectomy in January, which pushed their ordered fight to April 29th in Arlington, Texas, near Ortiz's hometown, Grand Prairie. Let me just say something about that. Since he had to go to that surgery in January, it's not likely that Stanionis would be ready to have a fight. Not in April, not even this July. An emergency appendectomy, that's where they have to go inside and remove part of your appendix. Appendix. Now, this is the thing about that. A surgery like that requires time to heal. There have been people who have had that surgery and they talk about healing on the outside and looking, you know, near normal after so many months. But on the inside, is where you would need to be concerned because in boxing you uh, absorb body punches. I'm not so sure that Stanionis may be medically ready for that at this point anyway. But that's all water under the bridge because the fight has been postponed again. But it's something to think about. The article goes on to say Ortiz, who's 19 and 0 with 19 KOs, was then forced to postpone that date after a repeat episode of his rhabdomyolosis in late March. That condition caused his second fight date postponement in just more than a year. He was also forced to push back his class versus England's Michael McKinson by more than four months to August 6th in Fort Worth, Texas after he was hospitalized just ahead of fight week for their planned bout last March 19th in Los Angeles. It remains unclear if the same condition caused Ortiz's recent trip to the hospital. It is not yet known if Stanionis, who has not fought since his title win over Razib Butayev last April 16th in Arlington, will remain on the show. Schofield will now top his second DAZN telecast and first on Golden Boy's primary series. His first round knockout of Daniel Rosas last October headlined a Golden Boy fight night on DAZN show, the company's prospect-based series. The event marked his second fight with Golden Boy, having fought on the undercard of Ortiz's aforementioned win over McKenzie last August 6th at Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth. Saturday will be the third fight of 2023 for Schofield, who scored a second round knockout of Jesus Valentin Leon in the non-televised undercard of the Javante Davis Ryan Garcia show April 22nd at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas also bumped up one spot on the main card. 2012 Olympic bronze medalist and current lineal WBC WBA flyweight champion Marlon Esparza who's 13 and 1 with 1 KO meets Argentina's Gabrielo Alanis who's 14 and 0 with with 6 KOs who puts her WBO title at stake in their multi-belt unification bout. 
I love to watch Marlon Esparza. She is a spunky champion and a good fighter. I was wondering when she would fight again, and here she is on this card. Joseph Jojo Diaz, who's 32 and 4 with one draw and 15 KOs, a 2012 U.S. Olympian and former IBF junior lightweight titleist, will also see an upgrade from his place on the undercard. The South El Monte, California native aims to end a three fight losing streak as he faces Jerry Perez, who's 14 and 2 with one draw. 11 KOs in a scheduled 10 round fight at lightweight. It's unfortunate that the card has been manipulated like this where the main event that was highly anticipated will not will no longer take place. Um we know not yet what the condition of Virgil Ortiz Jr. is. We would like to see him come around and resume his career. If there's something going on medically that may take him away from the sport of boxing, it would be nice to know uh, up front so he can start planning his future. I am of the belief that everybody should just kind of hold on and just wait to see what's really going on with the gentleman. I don't wish any ill on him at all. I want the best for him health-wise and for his family. Imantus Stanionis, on the other hand, should seek to move forward and just get busy. Take a fight. You've been out of the ring, but also take note of this thing with that surgery you had and make sure that you've healed. As I look forward, I say, wow, you know, boxing is truly the theater of the unexpected. And just when you think you may have a grasp on things, you always learn that there is just new news around the corner. I just want these guys to be able to move forward with their careers. July is a hot month this year for boxing. We've got more great fights on the horizon and we look forward to it. But for now, this fight is off and I was anticipating. I had a fight video ready to go. I'm going to pull that down and I'll just save it for another time in case these gentlemen do face off in the future. But that's all I have for you at this time. This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Say a prayer for Mr. Virgil Ortiz Jr. And let's hope that his career can resume and that he can get back to the familiarities of the sport of boxing. If that's not in the cards for him, may he peacefully venture on and forward in his career and life. Peace to everyone out there. And everyone, please remain safe.